Okay, so we got a 2008 Ford F-150. Uh, customer called me, said he didn't have no reverse. He didn't tell me that this truck actually wants to pull forward in neutral. So I'm going to show you. I'm in park right now. And look, it's trying to pull forward in park. Now watch. No reverse. I'm in neutral. It's pulling in neutral. Now the only way that I can get this thing to release is shut the engine off. Once I start it back up, go back to neutral, and it's still pulling in neutral. Okay, so uh, what what's going on with this is we've got a set of clutches that have welded to the steels that hold on the outside of the drum. Uh, the fluids burn on this truck. I'm going to pull this transmission out. I'm going to tear it down, and I'm going to show you exactly what happens when you have a vehicle that is pulling in neutral. Other things can cause them to pull in neutral. Say something with the uh, uh, with the manual valve or just something oddball like that but with it trying to pull in park it's got all the gears it just doesn't they're just not there the the park is there it holds in park uh neutral is there if you shut the engine off and uh you have no reverse so it's the forward clutches that are that are welded together and i'm gonna tear this transmission down and and show you what's going on all right, so uh, I was showing you there, this truck has no reverse, and it pulls forward even in neutral. Uh, pulls forward in drive, neutral, even in park. When I start it, I can feel it nudge forward. I wanted to share with you uh, what was causing that problem and, uh, and how you're going to have to go about fixing it because uh, this can happen to any transmission. Uh, this one here just happens to be a Ford truck. I caught this one come in, it, it's doing the, having this problem, and I wanted to share it with you because I don't see this a lot, but it does happen, and uh, it could also happen in reverse. You could have a vehicle that will only pull in reverse, um, and, you know, and then you don't have any drive range, but you can feel it trying to back up in neutral. So that, that's, uh, uh, this covers all of that and, and what could be the problem with that. So uh, one thing is, uh, just to rule out that you don't have like a uh, you don't have a cable issue or something like that uh, pull this vehicle up on a uh, on a grade and shut it off put it in park shut it off and make sure the vehicle doesn't roll backwards or forwards however you got it on the grade uh, make sure that it is in park if it's in park then you know that the shift cable is fine uh, and that when you're pulling it down, you're not just moving the shifter and the actual shift cable is broke and it's holding it in into drive range. So you want to rule that out that way. So anyway, um, this, this drum, I should be able to turn this. Uh, I should be able to turn this and it, it moved freely, uh, but it's not. You can see that the clutches are stuck together and I'm going to pull this apart and show you what how little it is to stop that vehicle from going in reverse now the reason you don't have no reverse is because the reverse and the forward clutches are working against each other when you put it in reverse you're applying your reverse clutches your forward clutches are stuck so therefore there's not going to be any movement in the vehicle it's just going to be binding up inside the transmission and not doing anything so when you pull these apart uh, what should happen is your clutches should be able to spin in here freely uh, until they are engaged so this shaft goes into the torque converter and as the torque converter is spinning it, when you're in neutral, this or in park, either one, this just sits there and spins. It doesn't do anything. Uh, it's just waiting on you to pull it down into gear and apply the set of clutches 
uh, with fluid pressure. So when this set of clutches applies, then it engages into gear and you can start pulling. So when you go to reverse, this set of clutches should release and your reverse clutches come on and that way you can back up. Some transmissions as this one does has a reverse band that also uh, operates reverse. But anyway, uh, here's your clutch pack and you can see how badly that they are burnt. Uh, what we're looking for here is this, this, these two clutches right here. You can see that, that the uh, clutches had been hot, but this one here actually doesn't have any material on it at all like this one does. It has completely burnt the material off of it. It got hot, probably got stuck in mud the way the truck looks. It looks like it was hung up in mud. But uh, when it does this, it welds itself right down metal to metal to your to your steel so once it does that it's going to start pulling forward in all gears so and so what uh i've had people to get a hold of me for and say hey my transmission did this and then it broke free and it started pulling again but when i pull it down into gear it's really delayed if that happens to you you better prepare yourself because these clutches are going to fail at a later date and they could get you caught out somewhere so you don't want to be out uh, away from home too far if, uh, if, if you've had this to happen and then uh, and then it it frees itself up so uh, please subscribe and I hope this video helps you